Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, Yudjoy Cory here, aka Crasher, back with a new video. And ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we will be reviewing Pokemon Journeys Episode 93, Your Name is Francois. Without further ado, let's give you guys a brief recap of episode 93. We start this episode off with Ren getting the retro lamp back from the repair shop as his Magnemite, aka Francoise, is picky and only eats the electricity from retro appliances. It doesn't take long for the episode to jolt into action as Magnemite, all from the Vermilion City area, start acting up. We also have a magnetic storm being caused from the sun. That can't be good. Francois begins to act up and even refused to go in Ren's Pokeball, so the next best thing was tinfoil and eventually a doorknob cap. Admittedly, that was a pretty cute look for Magnemite. We also get a fair share of flashbacks to when Ren and Magnemite first met, and it gives us some history as to how Ren and Magnemite became friends. The owner had a thing for antiques, and it attracted a Magnemite that loved them. Meanwhile, Ash, Go, and Ren fly on Dragonite and Flygon to fly to the outskirts to avoid the effect that has the Magnemite going all haywire. It doesn't take long for the Magnemite to start swarming and trying to take away Francois to join in with them. Ash and Dragonite stay behind to hold off the Magnemite while Go and Ren escape. Ren and Go are seen hiding from the Magnemite, and Go creates a diversion to attract the Magnemite while Ren and Francois make an escape. Go ends up battling the Magnemite with his Cinderace, and after some time, the Magnemite flee and gather up in one area. Ren and Francois also get detected by a group of Magnemite, and despite Francois trying to protect Ren, it didn't work, and Francois was taken away by the Magnemite. In the midst of all of this madness, we get an update that the real reason why the Magnemite are acting up comes from a malfunctioning man-made satellite that sent transmissions at the Vermilion City area on its own, which happened due to the magnetic storm from the sun. That transmission also influences the Magnemite that induces evolution, but it overloaded them, which made them seek out more of their kind to join to evolve into an ultimate form. Ren remembered how picky Francois is as it rejected Pikachu earlier on in the episode and only eats electricity from retro things and gets Ash's Pikachu to fire a Thunderbolt attack to break up the ultimate form for it to be easier to find Francois. Ren ends up finding Francois and despite being zapped while still under the influence, Ren held on and Francois then remembers back to the earlier times where they first met and we get more history revealed between the two and Francois was named after the cafe that had closed down. Francois then snaps out of it and everything goes back to normal just as the transmission shuts down. The episode ends with the cafe being reopened and Francois flies to its favorite chandelier to happily feed off the electricity. It's um, I don't know what you'd call this, Magnemite time I guess? This is Francois's favorite lamp, oh, there's Magnemite munching on the freaking lamp, the electricity. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. What's Pikachu's deal? What's happening? Oh, Pikachu just got rejected, I think. I love their Japanese name, Coil. You should put it in your Monster Ball for now. Oh, that didn't work. What? Red just grabbed... What What the hell? He tinfoiled his Magnemite, Kombucha City. Uh, uh, it's got the little head cap on. It's so cute. A doorknob cover. Oh, my God. <laughs> Reggie is scared. I wouldn't blame him. I love retro things too. If you were a 90s kid, man, mm. fun times, fun times. Uh oh, Francois being uh, magna napped. We can't make any dumb moves. Uh, you say that and watch what's gonna happen. I'm willing to bet someone's gonna make a dumb move. What? What the hell? What the? <laughs> Why is Go dressed up like. Wait. So, Go's tricking the Magnemite into thinking uh, that he's Renji with the Magnemite. But now we got uh, Cinderace coming out. Can it take on all those Magnemite, though? That's the question. Uh-oh. 
We got more Magnemite now munching on a car. Whoa! Oh, the, the hood just popped and, yep, they just got exposed. Oh, oh no! What's Francois doing? Supersonic waves. Oh! oh that works a bit. This must be where, um, where, uh, Magnemite and, um, Renji, uh, come together. Wow. That actually kind of hit deep a little bit there. I was supposed to say, it kind of hits the personal feels, because I can relate to it a little bit, you know? Oh no! The hat, it's gone! And now it's under there, that influence. Oh, that's not good. They're all connecting, and they're all going, like, to one, like, big place. They're evolving! What? You don't mean to tell me all of them are merging at once. Like, what the hell? That's what happened. A man-made satellite malfunctioned. And they're turning into a, a hyper-ultra-rare-rare-rare coil. Ultimate form? Except for one picky eater who only likes retro appliances. That's good thinking. Whoa! Oh my god! That truly is the ultra-rare coil! Oh! Renji's getting shocked. But did he, did he grab the right one? Somehow, Renji was able to pick out that specific Magnemite from all of the other ones that went crazy. Wait, welcome back, manager! The place opened again! He named that Magnemite after the cafe. So now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for my thoughts and opinions about this episode, and I'm going to give this episode a rating of 7 out of 10. For it being a filler episode, this was actually pretty damn well done. And you know what? I don't consider this a full filler episode because we did get ourselves a focus on Ren, who is one of the characters in Pokemon Journeys, and it took over 90 episodes for Ren to finally have his own episode. And one of the biggest things I can really appreciate about this episode would be the many flashbacks that we had seen in this episode, which gives us further details on the type of bond that Ren and Francois has with each other, and how they first met, and how Ren actually named that Magnemite Francois after the cafe that had closed down, which we now know has reopened at the end of the episode. That right there was a really nice touch and really nice attention to detail as well. And this episode overall makes you appreciate Ren and his Magnemite even more. I especially love how Magnemite is a fan of retro slash antiques. And that right there kind of reminds me of myself a little bit, because given the fact I'm a 90s kid, well, there was a lot of good shit back in the 90s. So this Magnemite and its preferences kind of brought me back a little bit to those younger days, so I definitely got to give some bonus personal points for that when it comes to this episode. But those are just my thoughts. What are your guys' thoughts and opinions about Pokemon Journeys Episode 93? Whatever they happen to be, ladies and gentlemen, I would love to hear you guys out in the comments down below. And that's it for the video, ladies and gentlemen, so I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing, and especially commenting down below, because I love hearing you guys out. Always have, that will never ever change, so thank you guys again for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day or night, depending on your time zone, and I'll see you guys in the next one.